What's going on everyone? It's Dave from Smart Fitness. Today we're going to talk to you guys about surgeries and how to maintain your gains. You guys noticed I've got a bandage over my ear. I recently had a stapedectomy surgery which is essentially they pull back your ear on the inside, go through and drill through your ear, remove the stapy bone which is the little oscillating bone that allows you to hear and they're replaced with a piece of titanium. Why do they do this? Because in both of my ears I have crap hearing. So, this is now day five, five of having this surgery and I'm finally starting to get back to a relatively normal routine. I can actually do more than just watch TV and sleep. I will be out of the gym for pretty much two weeks. I'm going to try to do a little bit of cardio off and on just to more or less keep my heart rate up. But as of right now, the most cardio I have is walking less than 500 meters at a time. So, this video today is going to be talking about how to maintain your gains or your fat gains, whatever you have, while you are during a uh, recovery period. So, how can you go about doing this, you may be wondering. It's quite simple actually. Once you have your maintenance calories, in my case my maintenance calories are close to 3,000, just under 3,000, uh, what you're going to go and do is keep your protein level high, so about a gram per pound, drop your carbs off because you don't need those extra calories and you don't need the extra water retention from the C6H12O2, O6, sorry. So the uh, water retention that you're going to get from having the carbohydrates, you don't really need that extra and you don't need the energy that's going to be associated with it because you're not doing much. Your fat, unless you are cutting where your fat's already low, you can pretty much maintain that but lower it a little bit because there's no point in having a caloric surplus in fats, again, if you're not going to utilize them at all. But don't cut your fats off, obviously. So, my best advice and everything that I've learned through this surgery, obviously it's going to be different per person, but a general guideline is essentially don't overexert yourself. Don't do more than you can. I feel flat as shit in my muscles right now. They feel small. I feel like I don't even lift. I feel like all I've done is made some fat gains. But when I look on the scale, it's pretty much the same weight as what it was before. Fluctuating roughly a pound or two, increase or decrease per day. But that's also based on my sleeping pattern, what I've eaten for the day, the day before, in terms of water retention. The antibiotics I'm on right now are causing me to have a massive sodium retention. I'm not really sure how or why, but I do notice it. I feel like my gut is kind of, my stomach's more bloated and more gaseous, even though I'm eating less, which doesn't make much sense. So basically general guideline, don't overexert yourself, don't try to jump back into your normal routine too quick. It's going to be different per surgery. Obviously some people if they have something done to their ankle where they are able to walk around and are able to exercise, just they can't run or work legs, then they can go back to the gym if their doctor recommends it. But don't do what the doctor doesn't recommend. Hi everybody! Hi, Hi doctor. doctor. It's a simple guideline, is that simple, obvious case in point. I tried to walk to the mailbox the other day and it was a daunting task. I felt dizzy the whole time but I made it. And the day after my surgery I tried to go to my brother's stag and doe. That was not a good idea because the next day I pretty much spent it in bed feeling dizzy. A little bit that I was out of bed I felt like crap. So basically what I'm getting at here is your protein level high Drop your calories off because you're not doing anything with your time as it is. You're pretty much just walking around at most, in most people's cases of surgeries. So you don't really need those extra calories and don't do too much. It's pretty straightforward. Follow doctor's orders. Don't be a smart ass. That's it. Stay strong, ladies and gentlemen.